Hello again, George Conner from ConnorGolf.com coming to you from Farmington Woods. Today we're going to talk about time and how time factors into how much break you're going to play and, and time is really the number one contributor to how much break you're going to play. So I have a, a, you know, an eight foot putt here and I have a decision. I can play it at different points indicated by the tees. So if I play it to the inside tee, I can't give the ball much time to get to the hole. In other words, I'm going to have to hit it pretty firm. And if I were to hit it out of the outside tee, then I would have to give the putt a lot more time. And I think great putters think of putts not in sense of how many feet is the putt, but how long is the ball going to be rolling. And when we start to think that way, I think you'll make a lot more putts. So if I was going to go to the inside tee, again, it's going to be a pretty aggressive line. And I can't give the ball much time to get there. Okay, so that went in pretty fast. If I go to the middle tee, now I'd want to hit the ball and have the ball travel a little slower. And then finally, if I wanted to go all the way up to the outside tee, the ball would just barely get to the hole, but break in. So when you're on the putting green, take a, a putt with a lot of break and try to play it at three different points at three different speeds, and it'll make a lot of sense to you that time is really what we're talking about when we have putts with a lot of break. Try that at home.